This is my self-designed heavy-duty workstation that I built for under $100. In this video, I'll give a couple tips and show you real quick how it's done. In the next video, I'll provide the details of this workbench and also provide costs, supplies, and the tools needed. Stay tuned. I took two 10-foot 2x6s and cut them down to 8-foot. That's going to give me the frame for the top of my heavy-duty work table. I pre-drilled and screwed all of my connections while keeping the frame square. Okay, I've temporarily hung this frame in the spot where I want it to go. I simply did that by putting a couple nails in the studs of this wall and using a couple boards to prop up the front end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to level this out in its spot where I want it to go and temporarily attach it to these studs. Just a couple screws. And there's a reason for doing this. For one thing, I wanted to check the height of my table before I attach the legs to make sure it's custom fit to my body so that when I'm working on it, it feels just right for me. But also because this floor might not be perfectly level and I'm using 4x4s for the legs. And these old 4x4s don't have perfect ends. They're a little off. But if I mount them inside the table frame against the floor in the spot I want it, I can then remove the temporary attachment to the studs and this table is going to be nice and level in the spot that I want it. And it's going to be custom fit to the size I want. This is not needed, but it might be a helpful tip for some. I clamped a guide onto my boards to keep the cut straight. Don't forget to check for level before screwing your shelf supports onto the legs. The recessed shelf requires one more cut of cut to length. Needed a few taps with the hammer. That shelf's in there nice. Be sure to give your bench adequate support using any extra cutoff pieces and make sure all is square.
Don't forget I'll be sure to give you the dimensions of the workstation including the length of the cuts in the next video.